for much. It's a good day for me if I leave the house the back of my skirt's not tucked into my pantyhose. <laughs> Life is embarrassing. I'm always waving back at someone who's really waving to the person behind me. <laughs> embarrassing things happen a lot to women. We don't like to talk about it, do we? So let's. <laughs> Let me ask you women this. You ever go out drinking with your girlfriends? And I mean serious drinking. I'm talking bachelorette party kind of drinking. Yeah. So drunk you think this guy's trying to pick you up because he keeps coming over to the table and you don't even realize he's the waiter. <laughs> and you're going, here he comes again. <laughs> you take him, Mary. <laughs> that kind of drinking. <laughs> and you're wearing a jumpsuit. I love jumpsuits. Up until you have to go to the ladies' room. <laughs> then it's a straight jacket and you're playing beat the clock. <laughs> that fabulous jumpsuit. You get home, you don't take it off a jumpsuit, you peel it off. <laughs> Roll it in a ball and kick it in your closet. Yeah. A week later you find it again, you put it on, great. <laughs> you wear it, you don't realize the original pantyhose are still stuck in there somewhere. <laughs> so about an hour into the date, you have a third foot. <laughs> but you don't see it first, do you? Avoid that embarrassment. I don't think so. You know who sees it first. <laughs> he does. <laughs> a very frightened man. He sees it working his way down your leg. He's thinking, what the hell is that? <laughs> He's hoping you're giving birth. <laughs> I think women, though, have it easier than men when it comes to getting that first date, don't you? Because they pretty much still have to call us up. That means we know they like us. Mm -hmm. They call. Here's a clue. <laughs> I mean, no one ever calls you up and says, I won't be dating you. <laughs> oh, good, I can leave the house now. <laughs> I can have a life. Thanks for checking in. But men don't have that privilege, do you guys? You have no idea the very first time you dial her number, her roommate could be answering that phone going, <laughs> Didn't I tell you this one would come? <laughs> oh yeah, she's right here. Yeah, she wants to talk to you. Are you the one the waistband of your underwear hangs over your belt? <laughs> yeah, she's hot for you. <laughs> of course, men have to come up with the great lines, and I've heard the best. This man called me up, he said, Diane, I like a woman can give me a real challenge. I mailed him my bank statement. <laughs> Figure this out, big guy, call me back with that total. <laughs> I still date him. But at the end of the day, he pulled the oldest line in the world. We get back into the car, he looks across the car at me. He's blowing smoke out through his nose. Very sexy. Looked like he was steam pressing his tie. <laughs> and he said, hey, baby. How about breakfast? Should I call you or nudge you? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Write me. <laughs> you know who I like? I like guys that soup up their cars, then try and frighten you with them. <laughs> they take you outside. <laughs> hey, baby, want to see this baby leave the ground? I said, yeah. <laughs> you want to see what I had for lunch? <laughs> these men that think they're Captain Kirk in the Enterprise. We try to look like we're having a real good time. It's like, yeah, man, this is fun. What is this, warp speed? Guess I won't need that facelift, huh? But my favorite is the guy with a huge car stereo tape deck with the speakers mounted on the roof. <laughs> all right, guys, you all have a buddy with that car. You won't ride with him. Because they lock you in that car, and I think you know what they do to you in there. That's right. They sing to you. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows singing to a woman makes her hot. Everyone but women know this. <laughs> <laughs> Only women applaud. <laughs> and they sing you with that hot face. We all know the hot face, don't we? <laughs> it kind of looks like he's having a stroke. <laughs> And you're thinking, should I kiss him or take over the wheel? <laughs> and the song always has a meaning, doesn't it? It's like, every move you make, yeah. That's right, baby. I'm going to be watching you, yeah. <laughs> they think they're turning you off. <laughs> and you're thinking, if I jump out now, I might only break a leg. I'll go for it. Women should drive on dates. I think that'll impress men, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Especially the way I drive. <laughs> my friends hint that I speed. Because every time I take a curve, my plastic Jesus hangs on to the dice. <laughs> the point to remember here is that 
I love to drive, I just hate to stop. <laughs> Especially for pedestrians. I have a great solution. I find that if you just tie some torn clothing to your front bumper, <laughs> you can fairly breeze through town, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in front of you. The cops are afraid of this. You know when it's dangerous to drive? You ever drive your parents around as passengers in your car? What an ugly story. My parents hold a couple things against me from the past that is so exaggerated. How the hell can you give a dog whiplash? He's one of these dogs that wears turtleneck sweaters. I don't want him looking out the window. I'm afraid people will think that he's my kid. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, you whiz by 55 miles an hour, you don't say, I just saw a duck in a sweater. You say, oh my God. I just saw the ugliest kid in the world. Honey, catch up with that car.